What's the inspiration to you to write a, an essay like this? Well, my inspiration for the essay, much like my inspiration for getting into politics in general, into this brand of particular activism, was September 11th. A political awakening happened on that day. There was a journey that I underwent as I, like many, many New Yorkers in Manhattan, were heading uptown, heading up upstream just to get away from the ash, from the dead zone of ground zero. And to be there on that day, you could not help but ask yourselves, why is this happening? And what should we do about it? And that very much began my journey, and this is part of what I try to encapsulate into this article. It's what I learned about Islam on September 11th, and of course I spent a good deal of time afterwards studying the theology of Islam, understanding Islamic beliefs, but at that point there was a fundamental understanding, uh, understanding as basic and as deep as seeing ash floating in the air, as seeing crowds of people escaping, as understanding that we had enemies who wanted to kill us and who were there trying to kill us. They were no longer clowns who had try to detonate a rental bomb in the parking garage in the World Trade Center. They were no longer a joke. They were no longer somebody we could laugh at. The reality was there was a clash of civilizations here, and it was incumbent on us to do everything we could to wake people up and to fight and resist against it. The passengers on Flight 93 who took their lead were in their 30s. But the two firefighters who made it to the 78th floor of the South Tower, Ronald Bucca, who did duty in Vietnam, and Oreo Palmer, a marathon runner, were in their 40s. These men and women had the most meaningful answer to the old question, where were you when it happened? The great lesson of that Tuesday morning is that it is not over and it is still not over. It continues today. After every attack, after Boston, Orlando, San Bernardino, New York, Paris, Manchester, London, Barcelona, we are encouraged to move on, bury the body, shed a tear, and forget about it. Terrible things happen and we have to learn to accept them. But Tuesday morning was not a random catastrophe. It did not go away because we went back to shopping. It did not go away with hope and change. Appeasing and forgetting only made it stronger. Everything I needed to know about Islam I learned on September 11th. The details of the theology came later. I couldn't quote the Quran while the sirens were wailing, but I learned the essential truth and so did all of us. We were used the question to be asked about September 11th, every September 11th, including the original one, but also today. We must ask ourselves what we are doing to fight the terrorists and what we are doing to expose the ideology, the hateful, xenophobic, Islamic supremacist ideology behind the attacks. From the Iranian nuclear program to the swarm of Muslim Brotherhood organizations in America, from the Muslim migrant search into Germany to the sex grooming gangs of the UK, the Islamic terrorists who are fighting against us have come up with their answer. We must come up with ours. A new and terrible era in history began on 911. Its origins are no mystery. They lie in the last sound that came from Flight 93, Allahu Akbar. We are in the middle of the longest war in American history and we still haven't learned how to fight it. September 11th has come around again. You don't have to run into a burning boning or wrestle terrorists with your bare hands, but use the day to warn others so you can answer, where were you?